good morning friends today we're going to start with a new topic web technology and that unit 6 web services this unit is divided in four part web services ejb cms and advanced technology so first today in this video we are concentrating on web services so outline of web services is very first part is overview second is types of web services and Third is a difference between SOAP and REST web services. So now what is web service? Web service can be defined in a different following ways. It is a client server application or application component for communication. It is a method of communication between two devices over the network. It is a collection of standards and protocols for exchanging the information between two devices or application. It is also available over the internet or intranet networks. It uses the standard XML messaging system. Means whenever you want to exchange the message between client and server, the data is sent or received in the form of XML. It is not tried to any one operating system or programming language. It is discoverable via simple find mechanism. Just by using a simple find mechanism, you can find any web service. Web service is a platform. It uses a platform XML plus HTTP means web services for sending and receiving a message the format uses XML and to send that data or to receive that data, it uses a HTTP protocol. Web services have the three different components. So that is simple object access protocol, UDDI, universal description, discovery and integration, WSDL, web services description language. Now, how does the web service works? A web service enables communication among various applications by using open standards such as XML, XML HTT, HTML, XML, WSDL, and so. A web service takes the help of XML to tag the data, means to create and transfer the data. So, to transfer a message between client and server, WSDL to describe the availability of service. Now we'll see each component in detail one by one. First is a SOAP. SOAP is an XML based protocol for exchanging the information between computer or application. It is a communication protocol. The communication is between the application running on two different computers. SOAP is a format for sending the messages. It is designed to communicate via internet. It is platform independent, it is language independent, it is simple and extensible. It allows you to get around the firewalls and it is developed as a W3C standard. Second is WSDL component. WSDL is a XML based language for describing the web service and how to access them. WSDL stands for Web Service Description Language and it is developed by jointly with Microsoft and IBM. Again, it is an XML based protocol for exchanging the information. It is a standard format for describing a web service and to describe how to access that web service. WSDL is an integral part of UDDI and it is pronounced as WSDL. UDDI, it is an XML based standard for describing, publishing and finding web service. It stands for universal description, discovery and integration of web services. It is a specification for a distributed registry of web services. 
So here all web services are registered, published, and you can find the web services in UDDI. It is again a platform independent and open framework. It can communicate via SOAP, CORBA, and Java RMI protocol. It uses WSDL to describe interfaces to the web services. It is a main foundation, again, from three different foundation or standards of web services. It is an open industry initiative enabling business to discover each other and define how they interact over the internet. So these are the three different components of web services. Next point is what are the different types of web services? So basically there are two main types of web services. One is SOAP and second one is a REST. So SOAP we have already seen it is a simple object access protocol and it is an XML based protocol accessing the web services. It is a W3C recommended protocol and used to make a communication between two computers or two application. It is again a platform independent and language independent. By using SOAP, you will be able to interact with other programming language application. SOAP envelope uses the HTTP protocol and it is divided into part head and body and W SDL is inside the body. This is a very simple example by using HTTP and XML protocol how SOAP works. If you see this is a service provider and this is a service consumer who wants that service. This requested a service by using SOAP where he wants to get an information of a student having a roll number 7. After receiving this information it will going to provide the service and it is going to find the information of rule number seven and going to give all information about the rule number seven so all this sending and receiving the information is in the form of xml every application serving soap request has a wds as wsdl file it stands for web service description language. It describes all methods available in the web services. So along with this, you can request and response the data. It describes the contract between service and client. And basically it uses XML over the HTTP. But today, nowadays, the world is moving towards the restful web services rather than SOAP services. The SOAP advantages are it, ha it defines its own security when sending or receiving a data and known as WS security. It is a language and platform independent. Disadvantage, it is very slow because as it uses an XML to send and receive data, so it requires to pass the data before it reads. So it takes some time. And second is WSDL dependent, means it is depend on WSDL. Second web service type is REST, which is also called as a RESTful web service. So REST stands for representational state transfer. It is not an protocol, but it is an architectural type. SOAP is a protocol, but REST is an architecture. The advantages of web services are web services, it is fast, it is language and platform independent. It can use SOAP inside because it is an architecture. So it can use any kind of protocol like HTTP, SOAP, etc. It permits different data formats other than XML like plain text, HTML, XML, JSON, etc. REST is not a set of standard rules, means it is not a protocol, rather it is a style of software architecture. The application which follows this architecture are referred to as a stack rule. Unlike SOAP, 
which targets the actions rest concern more on resources rest locate the resources by using a url instead of xml and it depend on the type of transfer protocol means for calling that url using http you can use any method like get post put delete etc we'll see one example here between xml and sorry between service provider and service consumer service consumer has sent a url where he is demanding the data from student and student roll number having the value as a 07 and it has used the get protocol to asking for that information service provider is going to provide that information having the rule number seven so all this information is provided <coughs> so you can use the get or put what is used when you want to update some data the difference between next point is difference between soap and rest so first point is soap is protocol rest is an architectural site SOAP stands for Simple Object Access Protocol. REST stands for Representational State Transfer. SOAP can't use REST because it is a protocol. REST can use a SOAP web service because it is a concept and can use any protocol like HTTP SOAP. SOAP uses service interfaces to expose the business logic. REST uses URI to expose the business logic. JAX-WS is the Java API for SOAP web service. JAX-RS is a Java API for RESTful web service. SOAP defines standards to be strictly followed. REST does not define too much standard like SOAP, so it is flexible. SOAP requires more bandwidth and resources than REST. REST requires less bandwidth and resources. So define its own security. RESTful web services inherit security measures from underlying transport. So permits XML data format only, but REST permits different data formats such as plain text, HTML, XML, JSON, and extra, etc. SOAP is less preferred than REST and REST is more preferred than SOAP because it is fast and SOAP is very slow. So thank you very much for watching this video.